The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. <laughs> Hmm. Yo, you know when I say yo, drink your water and mind your business? Before I even get into today's video, I'm a big spoiler alert. It's, boy, yo, today was super hectic, yo. I hope you guys watch the video because there is something that you are going to learn about Ghana today. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like, drop a comment. Give, a, give me your feedback. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. I don't know if you guys know that movie. It's a Caribbean Jamaican movie, like, right? About how Stella got her groove back. All right? So today we have the groove and we also have the Stella. <laughs> All right, so. I've been seeing the comments, um, people been, yo, that's what I love about the, the YouTube community is that people will reach out into your DMs on Instagram, let you know, they're dropping the comments on YouTube, yo, link up with these people. So the link has been made and today, Stella, she's going to carry us somewhere so we can get tipsy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to be this amazing Ghanaian popular drink, if you guys know what it is before I even say it, drop it in the comments or probably it's going to be in the title. Anyway. We're gonna catch you guys as soon as we get there. You want the big one or the, the big one? The big one. Big one. Mommy, you know. right one. Right one. No, the other one. The one that... This one. This. The ripe right one. No, the other one. Okay. So, we just ordered a big tub of the plantain chips and um, we got what we call in Jamaica some brata, which is really cool. But you said, what did they do? They dashed us this? Yeah, what you said? yeah, for free. I told her we are buying the big one, so she needs to give us this to taste because uh, you, are, you are a new friend. She was like, okay, why not? And she gave it to us. <laughs> Vibes. So, again, another quick stop on some. I've never seen this before, so yeah, Stella, what is it? It's a um, condensed, condensed toffee. It's a local toffee, yeah. And um, do you know condensed milk? Of course. Yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's a little bent and rolled into like this so it's nice you should try it yeah i'm definitely yeah. gonna try it yeah. <laughs> one thing about ghana these people know how to make money they know how to just in jamaica we say you take your hand and make fashion so they made these streets to sell mm. let me try one this oh, how selfish of me <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. Yeah. So it's like a toffee. So it tastes more like a toffee than condensed yeah. milk, but it has that nice smoky, burnt flavor like you mentioned. This it's is like caramel. Um, caramel. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. I love it. Does it taste like what's supposed to taste like? Yeah. Mm. Some, some some people. Because they want to make more money, they mm. add sugar. But this, this particular one, we are lucky, is good. Ah. What's it called? Condensed toffee. Condensed toffee. Mm -hmm. So when you come to Ghana, look out for the ladies. Chances are you'll find it on the road. This is the very first time I ever saw anybody with it on their heads. But yeah, got lucky. I hope you guys are lucky too. Two, two, two is uh, good. Miami, no? Wow, what is it? Polo. Polo. My bako, rubber bako. Uh, can I see? Yeah. She's gone. <laughs> and hey, I forgot what it is. I think it's um, wheat, wheat, yeah, wheat okay. and flour. So flour and wheat. Sugar. It looks kind of like a bulla. Yeah. Or a to it, it doesn't feel like even. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so it's, hard. Yeah, it's it's a lot firmer. Like, um, way, way, way firmer. It's something that you love? No, no, once in a while. Once in a while? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to feel like a bulla, but uh, let's go for it. This is a jackass corn. 
Back in Jamaica, that's what we call it. Oh, okay. But this one is thicker. I like this. Yeah, Zach, Zach, it's made with corn, right? And dough? Corn or wheat, one of them. Corn or wheat. Mm. It's really good. Oh, however, our jackass corn is a little bit sweeter. You get a little bit more of that corny kind of feel or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty good. Jackass corn, dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cousin. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, the middle is nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle is kind of a little bit softer. Mm. This is where we got this is where we got jackass from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer the middle, guys. I love polo. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Like managa like this is one of, Yo my type is one of my favorite thing then. <laughs> it's really good. I wish you could stop another lady. Pull up for this! Pull up, pull up. Put up, pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? You want one more too? Dabby. Dabby, no, it's okay. Just one. Just one. Yeah, no. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the good stuff. The edges are kind of firm, but once you get into the middle, still firm, but a lot more pleasing. Oh my gosh, love this. Um, I said that right here, they have the best palm wine in the entirety of Ghana. If you guys want to know how to get here just find your way up the to the Aburi mountains. It's on this stretch. I'll show you guys as much as I can so you guys can find it yourself. So we're gonna go on the farm really and try this out but why not try it from here? And this is this is his beautiful daughter huh? Yeah. Alright cool so we're gonna get served this palm wine you know my taste uh, FYI, I have never tried palm wine in my life, so I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. So, all right, let's do it. I want in the calabash. Yes, I like uh, Maria. How you moving? No? Local. We want the local way. Local. All right, you guys know that back in Jamaica, that's what I eat out of whenever we do any outdoor cooking. It's always in the calabash bowl. So maybe I might get a couple of these for you guys. I don't know. Yeah. So the calabash bowls. Their calabash looks. It looks different. This color, their color bash bowl looks so refined. It looks very refined. Like it doesn't have uh, like, yeah, it doesn't have like the blotches or the dark greens like we have. It's been uh, polished. Yeah, it's been polished. Yeah. Oh, that's why. All right, cool. All right, we are about to get served by the beautiful. What's the name? Amma. Amma. Yeah. That's your Ghanaian name. Yeah. Uh, I'm Kobena. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try this palm wine. Woo! So traditionally it's served in calabash bowls, yeah? yeah. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Whoa. That, is that the usual amount? <laughs> That's like a lot of liquor. Can't take a okay. Because it's fresh, it's not sweet. It's not strong. It's not strong. It's right. when you ferment, then it gets very, very strong. All right. Cool. So if it stays in the fridge for like um, two or three days, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but today, is, this is fresh, right? Today. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Is it one go or do I taste? Um, you taste. Taste. All right. Taste. Let's taste. Can I have some more? <laughs> Yo! It's... You have that slight fermented type of I vibe. I cannot pinpoint... Almost like a fermented fasorio. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it means. Okay, one more time. We, we, we're going to experience how this is processed. So I'm sure you get how... An everything. idea. Yeah. It's almost kind of um, like a soda in a little way. Like you feel that little fizz. Yeah. It tastes like when coconut water starts fermenting. fermenting. I That's was thinking about the coconut water, but coconut That's water have more of a rancid taste. This isn't. Yeah, but it still have that coconut water at the back. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. It's like, nah, uh, it's, it's more like a, it's more like a sour sop. <laughs> what what's a sour sop? 
same thing you guys have. The green, the green thing with it. Spi- I think that's exactly what it is. It's yeah. more like a, it's like a sour sap. Sour sap is sweeter. This, this has like um, a back fermented um, taste. Even sometimes kind of like a plum. First place. Yeah. Guys, in a plum. nutshell, it tastes like a bunch of different things. What do you want to say? Like a fermented coconut, fermented plum, kind of like a sour sap taste. Either or the way, it's really good. I really appreciate this. First time ever drinking palm wine. Amazing. So is the palm tree going to be Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go and so you, we'll, you take us to the next I'll take a little See how. Wow, I can tell why they said that she got the best one. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, when it gets more alcoholic, how does what what's the flavor profile? You see, you see the, the bad taste you have at the back. You get more of it. Stronger. Yes. Oh so damn. It, it's not sweet anymore. Oh, it just tastes like wine. Yes, like, it tastes um, a little stronger. Okay. Yeah. Even once you open the lid, you could smell it. Wow. Yeah. After three days. So it's, it's always best to drink it fresh. Best, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. So that you won't get drunk. This is hot spicy. If you can't manage your drunkness and everything there, <laughs> get it fresh. So at least you can experience whether it's fresh or alcoholic. And most, most places do it like this, like they can get it freshly available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. when we're coming, you saw a lot of vendors okay. with the white containers here. Too. Cool. Oh, so come on here. I want to send a big shout out to landlord. You don't know, landlord hooked us up with a bunch of stuff. We got, we got. Sh- if you guys don't know, like you saw, what they in some in a shirt kind of like this. But mine says "Get Vim," which means get energy. You're bringing the energy. You know what I'm saying? And then um, you have this here with a Ghanaian flag or whatever the case is. So that's amazing. We got some Ghanaian sportswear. We got the socks. We got the bag. The only reason I ever rocked the bag today is because, yeah. It was not going to fit exactly what I needed to get it done. And then, of course, Jilly right now I has to, on the fanny yeah. pack. Yeah. So for those who want to know what the name of this spot is called, it's called Alata. However, um, there's no sign here just yet. Hopefully they can put up a sign. But yeah, just take a firm look at where we are. You guys won't miss it. Anyway, um, I don't even know what I drank this because I feel a little bit wobbly. Oh, wait, hold me. You good? All right. Are you okay? I'm joking. <laughs> So, just like we have back in Jamaica, we're going to follow Mr. Ayata and his yang yang. <laughs> the good part about it, the ones out here, they're not as loud as the ones we have back home. So, yeah, we're heading to the farm. And you said that you haven't been to this exact one. Yeah, so this, a different this one, one, no. He All said right. it, it, it's a bigger farm and um, that's where he's getting most of his fresh um, palm wine from. So, I'm ah, super excited. Nice. I can't wait. <laughs> So we've been uh, driving behind Mr. Alta yeah. and um, every time he does this, before I was thinking he was signaling to us that he's going to go left or right, but then I realized that he was actually hailing the people. Yeah, he's yeah. very popular. Yeah, that sounds, well he must be popular if he's selling like the best wine up here. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's a vibe. Um, I really love the Aburi area because I get to see more greenery yeah. you know it makes me feel a lot more like oh. home like even here reminds me just a little bit of the way to Portland right babe yeah. like you're heading to Portland and the mountains like are over on that side yeah <laughs> Some, some funny stuff. All right, so we're about to go to Mr. Alata's farm right now and to see what the vibes is. Yo, Stella, I have a question, right? Yeah. So just over there, you have those little like anthill things. Are, are those anthills? No, no, that's um, 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 pineapple. No, not the head. The, the brown uh, yeah, thing. Anthills, yes. Yeah, those are anthills. Yeah, they are wow. very common here in Ghana. Wow. They're they're super big. In, if you go if you go in the village, usually they they get the clay because the ants pick the clay I, to build it. I it's know that it's clay. They, 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 you guys must know the channel where you see them two little Indian guys they go up in the mountains and stuff and just really? start digging. <laughs> That's it. And we're seeing it real life here in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Wow. Oh, the view is so breathtaking. 
it's a really nice view. Super good. Let me, let me get a picture of you there. Ten, this is beautiful. Did he just ride the bike through the mountains? <laughs> wow. Yo, Mr. Alata, yeah. quick question. Uh -huh. I see like on the way, like everybody was like hailing you up, like saying, yo, yeah, what going? Because I'm a popular. Yeah, popular. Is it because yeah. of the palm wine? No, because of the palm wine. Uh -huh. What's the reason? But I'm a popular before, before the palm wine. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what makes you so popular? Uh, I, you know, I'm driver along this road. Mm -hmm. All the time. Uh, 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 transport. Oh, yeah. Taxi, taxi, right? Taxi, yes. With Old Faithful here? You mean it? With the bike? No. Ta taxi, car? Taxi car, yes. Ah, cool, cool, so cool. that's why I pop, I, I pop like that, people know me. Cool. Mm. I'm curious, the blue tank on the back, is that for like palm wine transportation or? Oh, I used to collect the uh, palm wine. Okay. I put the palm wine, I put the palm wine inside and I take it away. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm. So one thing too, he, he, he delivers to a lot of palm wine um, mm, vendors probably, around yeah, Idri. Yes. He said, when you mention Alata, everybody knows him. He's everybody very popular. Me. That's why I'm sure that's why everybody's like. <laughs> many, 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 many along the roadside. That from Eburi even to Medina, mm -hmm. you may see many uh, palm wine sellers along the roadside. Yeah. Uh, with calabash and other things. Yeah. Rubber, rubber, this uh, type of rubber. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Many of them are my customers. They no. supply them palm wine. Nice. Oh, question. So my girlfriend was saying, wanted to know if like they were being sold, like the calabashes. Do you sell them or are they just for people to get a drink fresh? You made the calabash? Yeah. You see, how do you, you say you give them calabash or what, what? No, I'm asking, like, are they for sale? Yeah. Do you sell the calabashes? The bowls? Uh, yeah, yeah. We used to sell the calabash too. Okay. Uh, we used okay. to sell the calabash. The one cool. we are going, we'll get some. Okay, okay. Cool. So we're going to get some calabash bowls. Anyway, then we're going to... Head on the way. You know, the, what, what was that now? So that you know, I'm coming. Let me bring the, the one we used to blow the fire. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because of this fire that set this place ablaze. Because we, a drop of a fire. That's it. Enter the bush. We does not know. We have already been left here. We have left here before. People call me at night, about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, please have been set up, please. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why all this cannot uh, produce more again. If not, you could have seen this gallon half, half, or full. Some will can produce food, some will be half. But because of the fire, it will weak the trees. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 For, they are sick, they don't know anything. So we want to go from scratch. Tell us how it starts, how, like from beginning, uh, explain it to them so that they will have better understanding. From the of, beginning? Yes. Uh, from the beginning, no, now. I have to start the work so that it be from there I I explain. Okay. Mm. Let me show you. Mm. That's the tapping knife. This is the tapping knife. Tapping knife. Yeah, we used to. You will see the use of the tapping knife. Okay. We used to uh, tap the palm wine. We used to tap the palm wine, the palm tree, so that it will produce. Uh, mm. Then you put like a bottle to catch it. Mm. Nice. I shall be a knife so that it will be very sharp. You went, yeah. So usually you'd come a little bit later mm, yes. where it's cooler. Mm. Okay. So Mr. Alata is coming out here in the sun hot to show you guys this. So make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Mm. Drop a comment and make sure when you come to Ghana, you check out his stop yeah. where you're going to get like the best palm wine. The best palm wine so ever. Best Nobody palm wine. Nobody can do it like my own. That's good. Because some people are not using fire. Mm. They are using chemical uh, and that one is harm. Harmful. Harmful to the uh, body for our health. For those of you guys want to know, it's super hot here. It's super hot. Shout out to my calf again from Landlord. But no, I mean, I have to pay no rent.
You don't have to go pay rent if you don't want it, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. All right, so what do we have here, Mr. Alata? Uh, no. I'm going to put fire to fire them. Hmm. Whenever you put the fire, it makes the farmer produce more. Okay. Then again, it makes it sweet. Then uh, it doesn't allow the, any insect mm. to eat. To, to enter it. Because when insect get inside, he will spoil the farm um, wine. Okay. But whenever you put fire, applying fire, uh, fire always, no insect can enter. To gotcha. spoil the farm tree. Otherwise, they will, set, they will spoil the farm tree. Cool. I'm going to set fire. This is uh, how we set the fire. So, this is where you should produce. So, we put the fire light in this way. Mm -hmm. After you seen it. So, are you using, are you reusing like the parts of the palm tree here? The these, these things? This is, uh, no, this one, we use, we use this one to fire many. No, but where do you get this material? Is it from the palm tree? Okay, it's from the palm tree. Okay. The arms. The arms, yeah. The, the arms of the palm tree, the dried one. So this is how you fire it. Okay, so now you can see the bellowing. So you're bellowing it so it gets oxygen. Whoa. This is how we used to tap it. This is how we tap palm tree. Okay. To, put, to let it produce. So how much palm wine would you say a tree would give you? Mm, you know, if it's, you know, this one I've already uh, bent. Okay. So it's weak, so it cannot produce more. Mm -hmm. If not, I can get one gallon or uh, four liters, four, one gallon or four liters or half, let's say two liters. Okay. Mm, but if I have weak all the palm trees now. Okay. That's why it doesn't produce. So sooner, later I'll leave it. I'm now starting another one right down here, new one. So how long does it take for this tree it to get takes, to uh, maturity? Let's say two and a half months before it will expire. No, wait. Hmm? No, from, from, from a seedling, how long does this take to become like a full palm tree? Okay, like uh, uh, full, when you plant it. Tree, eh? yes. If you plant it, before it will reach a stage mm -hmm. that you can root it down to yeah. make a palm tree. Uh, it will take you, it will take us, let's say, seven to eight years. What? It used to last well, well. Seven it to eight years? It used to take long before. Seven to even ten years before you can get a full palm tree that big like this one. So, so you're only getting one gallon of palm wine in total from one tree? No. Uh, every day. Every day? Every oh! Day. For two months. Oh, guys, <laughs> and you know, not that we, we purposely plant a uh, palm tree because of the palm wine. No? People plant it to harvest the palm fruit for the palm nut soup. Yeah, to yeah. palm nut soup. Yeah, and uh, some people use it to make a uh, oil, red oil. Yeah, uh, but uh, sometimes when you know, some people lease the, uh, the land from somebody mm -hmm. to plant uh, their. A fruit or the palm trees on it, but when it gets to a time, the person won't. If the person won't use the land, so you will tell the person to root everything. On okay. Top. That's why they will connect with uh, palm wine tapers to come and buy it. Oh. Not that, uh, not that they purposely plant it because of a uh, palm wine. Until you get me. Got you. Somebody want to build a house. You want to make project on the land. Then there are many palm trees there. Even they may not sell it for you. They call you to remove everything from the land so that they can get the land to make their project. So is this a tree that just grows just in nature like that indigenously or because you said like people would sell the land mm -hmm. and they, you know, you would come and tap. Is it that it was planted before or? Uh, they planted before. Okay, cool. They planted the palm trees before. You know, this one was planted about, uh, let's see, 
over 10 years ago. Mm. You see those big, big, big ones. But because they didn't maintain it, that's why you see the palm trees some days, small, 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 small. If you say they maintain it, it will be even taller than this one. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. cool. They leave the bush, they, leave it, they, they doesn't maintain it, they didn't prune it. They just leave it like that. That's why you see it. Small, not so, small, small like this. Yeah, yeah, not so effective. The, where we tapped, where mm -hmm. we tapped, there's a small, small little, little hole. You cannot, you cannot see it. Mm -hmm. So that's where the palm trees, that's where the palm wine comes from. He enter this side, then he enter through the pipe. We fix a pipe. You can see. Oh, this, yeah. one, this one doesn't drop it well. I will show you another one here. Got you. Because this one is getting weak too much. That, so that's why you, you cannot see it drop. But I will, I will show you another one here. That one draws faster. Go, 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 go. Let's get to this one. You will see as it be. All right. You got this one. Fire did, didn't touch it. Oh, I so it should be good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Um, I think in some countries like Canada where they get maple syrup, they normally just do a regular chopping thing, plug in a tap, and then they get the maple syrup. This is probably a little bit more complicated. Not only do you have to tap it, but you also have to burn it to get like the sweetest palm wine. Let me tell you, man, the one that we had just up there, it was very, very sweet, very, very good. Of course, guys, make sure you guys check out Stella, because Stella got Stella the plug. <laughs> yeah, she hooked I'm us up with this. Family. Amazing. Fact, I'm, I'm part of their family. Exactly. Long time. Long time. She's been super, <laughs> super, super awesome. She's making sure that, you know, it's being explained exactly uh, how it should uh, be to give you guys the because best this, content. This one, the fire didn't get to this side. Okay. I think you see. So after I tap this one, you can see the way it runs through the pipe. So this thing that you're throwing on top, the froth, is this it to, one, to this burn? One is, this one is a foam. Foam. So, uh -huh. if this one cover the face of uh -huh. where we bend it, it will not let it. Will not let it uh, the fire would can cannot get it inside. Mm. Well, got you. This one will block the face. That's why you, we used to collect it before before we fire it. So, please give me the mm -hmm. support it. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. So then. We blew it in this way. We blew it for the fire to enter the side. Mm. Mm. Then again, it, push, it kills any insect. It kills any insect inside. What would you say like is the most like predatory insect that you have here that like, could mess up your palm oil? Would it be ants or? Not, uh, not because of ants. Mm. There are some of the insects. There's a... Uh, yeah, not even this one now. It's even 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 wall gecko. I don't know if you know wall gecko. Yeah, wall gecko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wall gecko. Oh, the geckos. Also, mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, that's why you have to seal it very well so that they don't enter. As soon as they enter, you can't drink it again. Mm -hmm. oh, flies, uh, um, insects, those little little bugs. Mm -hmm. it's not, but you see, because they leave it overnight for uh, like mm -hmm. five to six hours. Yeah. So by the time you come back, the insect has died yeah. and it's yeah. oh. swimming. So you don't want that to happen. Yeah, so you have to seal it very seal well. It well. But yeah. some people doesn't even seal it. They used to leave it like that. And as my own, I doesn't want anything because I I drink it by myself. So if it contaminates any bad something, I cannot take it. And this green, 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 green fly from you know I already explained it to Stella. That, uh, that green, green fly from toilet. Mm. Uh, some people. They cannot cover it well. From toilet, from dead body, from any nonsense, they enter the after them from they enter the palm tree direct, uh, the gallon, the container, and contaminate. Then they, they kill, they, they die inside the gallon. Then they will filter it and drink it. But as my own, I doesn't filter it. Whenever I pour it, you will see it clean because nothing can get a chance to pass inside. I will show you the way I do now. But, but the others doesn't do it in that way. Straight. How do you understand me? The others doesn't do it in that way. I think the selling point to all of this is when Mr. Alata said that he's a customer to his own business. And when you're a customer to your own business, 
you know what it should taste like and you want the best quality for yourself. You know, a lot of people sometimes they make these things just to make some money. But this man is making his palm wine so he can also enjoy it as well. So I guess that's just a testament to why his palm wine is so good. Really, really good. So it will open the, the small, small, small holes mm. so that it will produce more. So he'll keep cutting every day, every, every day, day two till, times. Till, till he gets the tip of it. Two times daily, yeah. afternoon, morning, afternoon. So he will cut it every day until he gets to here? Yeah. Uh. Then by that time, the, the, it's, it's producing very small you know, content. Then you put uh, the, this in to open the pipe. It's, it's uh, something block inside the pipe. So whenever you finish, you put this in to open it. I like how he does this, like he kind of opens the bark. <laughs> so then, it's like a little door, it's a natural door. People used to put the gallon. Mm. They used to put the mouth like this. Mm -hmm. So when you put it like this, there will be a gap. Mm -hmm. Because you see this uh, pipe is too small. Mm -hmm. it, uh, one part is too. Okay. So people will used to put it, then there is gap. If there is gap, anything can pass it. Yeah. Went tight. Flies, uh, lizard. Even millipede, everything can enter. But this morning, if you are holding cup here, if I, if I put it inside, cup. you Sweet will that. see that it did very clean without filter it. Many of them used to filter their own finish. The, no. You see, as it clean, you will not even filter it. Wow. Yeah. Let, yeah. Me can, let me put. Let me. No. All right, we're gonna drink this fresh. Salut. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is fresh. Can I pour more? It tastes just the same like the one on the roadside, except that this one is a little bit hotter because it's hot out, but it's really good. Oh. Wow. I can't completely explain it. There's so many things that it tastes like. You guys are just going to have to come out here and try it for yourself. Try some palm wine. Mm. Sorry guys. It's okay. I no, felt no. it, you know, and, and I, I started I was, to keep I was opening so, I was so drop. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah, you did. Like oh, yeah. your eyes rolled hey. all the way back. Oh, I was trying to yeah. Guys, so yeah, YouTube is real. Like I've been saying, <laughs> I've been saying to you guys, like, you know, grab a hat. Before I have two hats. I have this hat and I have the soy hat. And I said to Jilly, put on the hat because oh here the heat is so bad. It's really, it's really, 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 really bad. And um, I brought my coldest bottle because I knew it was going to be hot. We were going on a farm. And you know, I always said to Julie, drink up the water, drink water, drink, drink, drink. Anyway, uh, she just passed out just now. <laughs> Nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice steady drip. Mm -hmm. So this is where you get a natural palm wine, natural drink. Nice. Mm. So whenever you buy palm wine from Alata, it means you get a natural one. Definitely. From the tree. Uh -huh. The one we had just now was so that, clean. That doesn't contaminate anything at all. Yeah, I'm finding it hard to like to record and she's down there when she said she she said she is okay. She'll be fine. Guys, I implore you, you come into Ghana. Mm. Drink a lot of water. Water, yeah. Yes. Especially this season. This season, um, if you're a foreigner, we are used to it because yeah, we're because to we the, are used to it. Used but to the as a foreigner, please drink mm. enough at least like um, two or three liters a day, mm. like to keep you dehydrated. Yeah, we've been yeah. like on the way. Ask her. Yeah. We're like, yo, stop for water. Yeah, I, I kept asking them, do you want yeah. water? Do you mm. want water? Because I knew that you will forget to drink water when you're on a trip. It's like very likely for you to forget. So. Yeah. We'll still continue off. Yeah. So um, we'll she, she'll, she said she's going to stay by okay? the shade. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We'll do it, we'll just do it quickly. No, I think yeah. the, it's yeah. okay. This so is exactly as we... We're going to end it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to have to finish this off. Mm. But I need to ask you, like, how long does it take for you to get, like, like, how much palm wine do you estimate you get from this particular palm tree? For only one. From only one. If I estimate you have uh, the liters or 
You mean the quantity or the... Yeah, it can give me in gallons. In gallons. Uh, if it is, let's see, if it can take like two months, two months, that's uh, 60 days. Let's take it 60 days. Eh? Mm -hmm. If one can produce, let's say, one, one gallon each day, each day, that means I can get like 60 gallons for two months. Nice. 60 gallons. What's the most you ever produced? Like what's the most palm wine you've ever gotten in one season? Uh, for all. All, all. all. You know, sometimes I can root like uh, 60 palm trees. All this one is a 60, if I count it, mm -hmm. a 60. So that 60 multiplied by, multiply by, let's say, one, one gallon. Mm -hmm. It will be, mm, it will be, let's say, like 360 gallons. Is it, is it up to? It will not up to because some, some, some used to produce than others. Yeah. Some, some will fool, some cannot fool. True. You understand me? Mm. So, for that uh, 60 palm trees, I can get, uh, let's see, you see that yellow, yellow gallon, that, uh, that oil gallon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so like the one at the back of his car is his motorbike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can get like that six. is a big one. I can get like six or seven every day. <laughs> mm. That's wow. a lot of money. Mm. So how much do you sell a gallon? 150. 150. Uh, hey, this man is a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> he is a rich man. If he's getting 150 um, per gallon, imagine he has about 60. So that's a lot of money. Is uh, it no, good business no, here? No, it's a good business. Yeah. No, not that I, I can get 60. You know, say this much more gallon. I can get if I pour it inside those uh, big, big gallon, I can get like six or seven okay. each day. Each day. Uh -huh. And that 150 multiplied by six or seven. Mm. Mm. That's the amount okay. I used to get always. Nice. Mm. Cool. Well, Miss Alata, I'm sorry we had to like, cut it a little bit short, but I know a lot of people are going to come here to support this palm wine because it's really good. It was my very first experience with palm wine, but just seeing the process, seeing how the dedication to making sure that it's in its most authentic form was being upheld. You know, enough respect, enough appreciation, blessings. In Jamaica, we do, it's, it's called the boom office. It's like, yeah. it's our way of saying, boom, bless up. Blessing. Yeah, bless. <laughs> do, do it again, do it again. Do it again. Blessings. <laughs> yo, vibes, yo. So we just got some fresh palm wine. What's normally the price for like this this particular bottle? The price? Yeah. Uh, we sell it uh, 10 cities. 10 cities. Okay, cool. Fresh. I wish I could bring this back and like ship it to you guys like in the US so you guys could try it for yourself. Blah, blah, something. Mm -hmm. It's the fire. The, the fire that you see, you see it. Mm -hmm. After you see the, the ash. It's the ash here. Which is no problem. That's still good for you in some sense. How much would you have to drink for it to intoxicate you. Can this intoxicate you uh, fresh? You know, it depends. Depends. It depends. Somebody can take this one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Even the person cannot intoxicate. Mm -hmm. Person can take a little like this. Mm -hmm. It will totally intoxicate. Depends and, on the person. You begin doing nonsense. <laughs> you see? We got some people, they used to come and, and greet me here. Mm -hmm. Throw me tap all this uh, on three sometimes before they Mm -hmm. We live here evening time. They can drink even this one more than three or four. Nothing will do them. There are some people that if they come here, if they take only half of this one, they begin begin nonsense here. All right, so I know you have a couple more stuff you want to tell us about um, the business. Palm wine business, like, do you think it has done like a lot for your life? Uh, you know, before, mm -hmm. you know, I told you I'm a driver, that's why I did so popular along the roadside, many people call Alata Alata. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you use that uh, driving a uh, professional, compare this uh, palm wine. Mm -hmm. This one is far better, even 70% uh, than the driving work. Gotcha. I drove for about donkey years without achieving anything inside. Mm. But when I left this uh, driving professional, when I come back to the bush, mm -hmm. I achieved more better from the bush. I bought a car through this palm wine. I make a, I built a, a house, mm. a very big house through this palm wine business. So you would say like, I think 
What's the only thing that's holding you back from doing this full time? Is it because sometimes there isn't any palm wine to harvest, maybe? Well, we have palm, wine, uh, palm trees always, so mm -hmm. no rest at all. Oh, you always have them? Always, always. Even from here, you will see many palm trees on top there. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, bought, yeah. I bought all those ones coming this side. I bought all those palm trees and there are other palm trees too down there. So they have started root all this one down from through uh, out at our frontage here. Nice. So from here, by two weeks time, when the arms dried, then I continue that one again. So you just mentioned about um, buying them. So that's what you do. Like uh, they used to sell it for me. Some people used to give us free. Free. Okay. When, when they, they just want they, to get rid of it. They won't use the land to make project. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so. there are some they will not give you free. They will buy it. Okay. Because they know that you are going to make it, you are going to use it to make money. Yeah, so they sell it for you. Cool. Um, you said you have children. Well, I have children. And this business has helped? Yeah. Like well, to raise well, them through well, the... Well, 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 Got you, man. Got you. Um, so how do you know when, like, for example, even up there, right? Mm -hmm. That seems like more like hilly terrain. Do you ever like factor in your price? Because it's more work or for You mean the price of the... The palm wine, because... The, the palm tree? Yeah, the, even that too, yeah. The palm tree. Yeah. Oh, they sell it for, uh, for us, the 20, 20 cities each. For the palm tree? For the palm tree, 20 cities each. 20 but cities? Some people used to give us free. Ah, mm. so they rather make something than nothing. Oh, we make something inside. Got you, wow. Guys, if you don't know, 20 cities is like... 20, then if you buy like 60, $4. 70, 80, total yeah. it, multiplied by that amount. Oh, it's I get not, you. That's yeah. where the money starts yeah. starts racking up. How did you get into palm palm wine making though? Was it like something that your dad used to do or something like that? No, 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 no. no? My dad is not a palm wine type. My dad, he was a former uh, petrol uh, ambassador to Nigeria. Mm. Ajib, Ajib Petrol's Petrol. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is Ajib Petrol in Ghana here. They went to Nigeria for that old olden days, for uh, this uh, Ajib, engineer, engineers, that time. So he's one of the engineers of Ajib. Okay. Ajib Petroleum. But my father have le left. So how did you just find out about this? Like, was it that you used to, used to like drinking palm when you say, yo, no, make something for yourself? That, uh, no, no, not that I'm drinking, but I'm a driver. I used to take some of the uh, sellers, the palm wine uh, sellers. Okay to some place to buy palm wine. They packed gallons, these big, big gallons. Inside the boat, I take them to other village to go and buy palm wine, mm -hmm. then pay me. Then whenever wow. they sell things like three, four days, I take them to the place. Then I say, no, this one used to fetch money. Mm -hmm. So I will try the business. Mm -hmm. I began buy the palm wine, palm wine for some time. Then I say, ah, no, if I make it by myself, it will pay me better than to go and buy it. Yeah. That's what from there, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, from there people used to call from UK, Germany, and other European countries. To order? To order. Oh, yeah. can you can you say, say your number? My number? So can they call you so they, to make can an order? they call me? Yeah. They, say they, see my, they see my number from the YouTube. Yeah, tell us your number. What is it? 0244, mm -hmm. another 44, 6003. Awesome. That's my number. Awesome. So when they buy it from here, they keep it inside freezer for mm -hmm. about uh, three days for it to block. Hard. It will block very hard. Okay. When they get from it, before they get to the place, it's still fresh. Before it will ferment. Um, ferment. Ah. It will still keep it. When they, when they want to take it to, to travel out, yeah. they put it inside the uh, ices, put block on top, mm -hmm. not to ferment, not to uh, melt in time. Mm -hmm. Because if it's still day on block, you take it to where you are going, your destination point before it will melt. Got but you. It will stay fresh to day natural as you buy it from here. Then you keep it inside freezer where you get to. Oh, so if people want it, they have to come and pick it up and they can take it to yeah, their respectful yeah, countries, yeah, yeah, to yeah, the, yeah. the UK or whatever. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Guys, we'd love to, to chat more, but I'm just going to head up there now. Julie seems to be a lot better. She was just like, yo, go and finish the video. Um, so we're talking to Mr. Alata. He has been very humble, very respectful, and has given us so much information. So guys, make sure you check out his stop. And that is in on the, up, the climb to Aburi Mountains. You'll definitely see it. Ask for Mr. Alata. If it's not him, 
his daughter will be there. It is the be listen, it's my first introduction to palm wine and it hit the spot 10,000 folds. It is so good, it might make you pass out. Anyway, guys, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. We're gonna go get some food, get rehydrated. I'll update you guys some more in the next video and let you know what exactly is happening in Jelly. Like I always say, there's so much that happens behind the scene with these videos. They're very difficult. And sometimes when you see me say, oh, Jelly doesn't come on a, on a thing, is because I know it might be very hectic and taxing. I was thinking of not bringing her today, but I was like, you know what? I don't want her to miss out on the experience, and I know you guys love seeing her in a video. So anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember these three things, love, nature, and adaptation. Yeah. And always remember, keep the link. Well, <laughs> <laughs>